Go ahead and fire away, guys. Justin. A uh, question for, for both of you guys, just overall, how good did this one feel down the regular season? <clears throat> um, uh, for me, it felt great um, to be able to represent the past seniors that were here um, and to, to be a part of what they had to go through and to finally be at, the, at a point where, where, where it's basically opposite from what it was two, year, two three years ago. And so, you know, it feels great. And then, oh, go ahead, yeah, no, I was just going to say it feels amazing. I grew up coming to this game, you know, so being able to play in it, and it was a lot of fun. It meant a lot. And, Mike, what did you take away from how Noah and T-Mac were able to play today? Um, that's just them. That's just uh, their connection. Um, it's, it's special, as you can see, you know, T-Mac going for uh, almost 250 yards or something like that, you know, you know, to see them go out there and basically, you know, go out there and play backyard football at a high level, you know, it's good to see. Better. What was the conversation like after ASU had that 75 rushing yards on that first drive? Because from then on out, you guys kind of stuck up defensively. Yeah, um, it was just it was just the usual. You know, we we've gone through adversity all year, man. Just stick to it, play hard, play our brand of football. Um, you know, we work hard to come out fast, and you know they did a good job on that first drive. So just made some adjustments and went out there. Questions, questions about you. Uh, have you had any time to reflect on how far this program has come in the last few years? Uh, yeah, you know, to be able to basically come in <clears throat> and the, the program was already kind of going downhill um, and to see, you know, where where the basically the bottom point of, you know, losing to 70 and 7 and then uh, losing to NIU and then to come back from that and even last year going 5 and 7, and this year uh, winning nine games, you know, is special. Um, you know, I... You know, I, I want to say I believed it from this from the jump, but you know, you know, you know, grind the work that we put in, you know, in the off season, you know, it was beautiful and it, and I should have expected it. So I was happy to see that. And Connor, can you take me through that trade and how bad you wanted to get in the end zone then? Yeah, man. Um, you know, um, the you know the scheme put me in a good position to you know make that play, and then yeah, man, it it was a. He turned into a little power tight. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a race to get to the end zone. Uh, you know, couldn't get it, but you know, I appreciate all my teammates for block, blocking their butts off for me and stuff like that. So it was fun. Sure. I believe one of the main reasons to the six game stretch for you guys is play up front, not only on the offensive line, but the defensive line as well. Uh, of course, you know, it always starts up front. It starts in the trenches and you can see the, the grit and the meanness that we have, you know. I think that's the reason why we're so much more physical, physical than me, some of these other teams. And, you know, just like I said, it starts with the trenches. We got some guys up there. Sorry, what do you think has been the biggest difference for the offensive line from the first six games to the last six games? Um, just being comfortable, just believing in ourselves, knowing that we, we're the, one of the best teams in the country. And we know that, you know, it's, it's about confidence. You know, that's, that's really what it is about. Michael, what do you think? Uh, been about Noah that's allowed him to play at such a high level. Um, his poise, um, his approach to the game, you know, it's always at an elite level. Um, I'm not surprised at all. He's back there calm. You know, he takes the game seriously. Um, and you see, you see how he plays out there. It's like he's just, you know, going through the motions, just you know, doing what he's supposed to do, and it looks uh, normal out there. So yeah. Like what? For Gunner, were you expecting them to come out with that kind of wildcat? Look on yours and scatterball. Yeah, we were expecting that. Uh, we didn't know how much we we're going to get, of course, but you know, we we practiced for it. Um, you know, they did a good job with it. They, those are two. Uh, those two guys are great athletes. You know, um, hard runners. You know, so uh, you know, we had our hands for a little bit, but no, we prepared for it and we were expecting. It. You guys had a long meeting on the sideline um, after that first drive. What was the what were the coaching points after that first drive? Yeah, uh, just a lot of like, you know, making sure everybody's in the right gap, making sure, you know, we know where everybody's supposed to be. And then, um, like I said earlier, just just stay on them. Like, just be relentless, do what, do what we've been doing all year, be physical, and, uh, you know, play for one another. Brett Peterson. Uh, do either of you, have you had any thoughts about like, which bowl you want to go to or, and just the idea of knowing that you have one more game to play with this team? Uh, for me, uh, Alamo or Vegas, basically. I don't, yeah, I'm just happy to go to a bowl game. So. What 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 would you normally be doing like that week after the last few years? Home, yeah. <laughs> or finals or something. You know, uh, I was happy to see uh, my last year that 
saying like this. So. Justin Spears, uh, Michael, what would it mean for you though if you guys were able to go to the Alamo Bowl to end your collegiate career in your, in your home state? Uh, it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot, you know, to end it like that you know, with my brothers. Um, um, of course, I'm playing in that game. Um, just to, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. I'm just excited for that, to experience that as well. So. Jordan? Michael, eight touchdowns in your territory cup career. What is it about this game where you just seem to find the end zone? Uh, like I said, man, a lot of my, my past brothers that we used to go here, they never got to experience, you know, being in this school. So going into each of these games, I always play for them, you know, to leave it out there. And, and I want them to know that, like, I care about y'all. And, and I care that, you know, although we didn't win, I wanted to go out there and do my best. Right. Michael, seeing uh, Jordan Morgan have this moment out there on the field his last season, he had the injury, just seeing him be able to do that and then, carry the flag and wave it around. What did, what did that mean to you? Um, no, I'm, I'm happy for him. Um, last year, week 10, Jordan went down, ACL injury. He was battling, uh, rehabbing all year. Um, and to see him, uh, you know, have a season that he had this year and to finish it like this, you know, it's amazing. You know, and that's just a credit to, to what he does and how he works. And, you know, you can see it. Michael? Gunner, um, Michael was talking earlier about the chemistry between Noah and T Mac, who obviously have known each other and played with each other for a long time. When you go up against them in practice, do you see that and how does it make it difficult for a, for a defense? Yeah, no, like he said, they play backyard football at a high level. It's kind of like, kind of has that, obviously, you know, they're very professional, but yeah. they have that feel um, and they just have that connection. And Noah, Noah trusts T Mac a lot and T Mac can go get it. So it's fun watching it. Um, it gets the defense better for sure because, um, you know, we got to, you gotta have perfect coverage, you know, um, against that uh, duo. So it's fun to watch, and um, I'm just glad to be on the same team. In the back, um, going one and this is for both of y'all. Going one or eleven, five and seven, nine and three. What was the exact moment when y'all realized that the program was turning around? Mm, that's hard to say. It's a lot of them. Um, um, I would say this year it was it was. That Washington game, you know, we had, I think, uh, the first half, it was, we were kind of kind of messing around with them. We didn't really know if we could beat them or not. Um, and then that second half, we came out there and realized that we're actually a good team. Um, although we didn't win, uh, but we, we kind of found our identity from there. Um, and I would say that was probably one of the turning points. Um, there's probably a few more, too, but, you know, I can't really, right now. I think, uh, I think Washington State was a great game um, for us. I think we was we were kind of on that like, you know, don't be surprised when you when you beat a team uh, by a good margin. And I think that was a game where it was like, okay, like we could do this, and you know, don't be surprised when it happens. So I think that was a good point of the season for us. Just along those lines, Gunner, what what is it about Coach Fish? Um, what do you do? What do you say? How do you act to make you guys believe that getting to this point is possible? Yeah. Um, I mean, the last couple of years with him um, has been, you know, he's been preaching. He's been preaching the same stuff since day one. Like, um, it really hasn't changed much. He, um, yeah, um, he just he just preaches, um, you know, being a family, playing together, playing hard, and um, but it's really it's really us buying into what he's saying. He's believed in us, you know, from the jump, and um, he's brought a lot of great people around us and. Um, no, we play for each other. We play for him, but he gives us so many good messages. I it's just, yeah, I don't even know what to say. That, Final question, Troy. Can you talk about um, Johnny Nansen and this point last year to this point this season? How the defense has turned around and what Coach Nansen's been Um, man, yeah, Coach Nansen, he's that guy. He's that guy. We love him. Uh, just being in the meeting room with him on a normal like Monday, Tuesday, man, like, man, we just love everybody loves being around him. And 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 this year I think we've really just trusted him, trusted his play call. Um, but we just love how he coaches, his energy. He loves us. He talks about trusting each other, loving on each other. And and you see it day in and day out. He's the same guy every day. And I'm pretty sure he like he tackled one of our guys on the sideline after a big play today. Like that's just him. And we love him. And he's just a great person, great coach. Uh, yeah. Great.
Great. Thank you, guys. <laughs>